my dear friends in Christ Jesus we reflect upon today's readings the early christians when they faced to face persecutions like many of them were boiled in wax oils some of them were thrown into pits to fight against or fight with wild animals even though there were such kind of uh, sufferings persecution thousands of people lined up to become christians thousands of people wanted to follow christ why they knew very well that accepting christ meant accepting death but then why so many people still wanted to become christians because they had the promise of eternal life they had the promise of everlasting life that's the same question that jesus asked today in the gospel to martha and mary that i am the resurrection and life whoever believes in me even if they die they will live again do you believe this and they said yes lord i believe now the question is to ourselves to each one of us do you believe do we believe this do we believe that there is eternal life do we believe that we are we will be we will be rewarded with heaven do we believe this the first reading is from the book of ezekiel the israel people were in exile in spiritually speaking they were in sin they were separated from god separated from their neighbors separated from their relatives separated from creation so they were experiencing a kind of death as they were in in their sinfulness because they chose to be in sin so when they were in their sinfulness they experience death since this choice was made by themselves to be in to continue in their sinfulness nobody could save them only god could save them and the prophet ezekiel says we cannot save us by ourselves so god is out of his love and generosity and compassion god says you cannot come to life by yourself so i will put my spirit to my people so that you may experience life again even though we go away from god choosing death choosing to sin god out of his mercy come after us calling us back to life that is the love of god even we go away from god god is after us saving us protecting us 
caring for us. The second reading, St. Paul tells to the Romans that even the baptized people can remain according to the flesh. We may think that we are guided by the Holy Spirit still, we can remain according to the flesh, according to the world. When St. Paul tells, the baptized people can remain even, it remain in flesh and in the world, it means uh, sin for him. When St. Paul tells about flesh and the world, it means sin. We choose to live according to flesh. When we choose to live according to our uh, inclinations of flesh, we choose to die. Uh, we choose to be separated from God. So, but then the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will give us life. The spirit that we receive during the Holy Mass, the spirit that we receive during our moments of prayers, the spirit that we receive during the time that we receive, uh, that we, we make our confessions, this spirit will give us life again. But then the problem, the, the question that we need to ask ourselves, whether we choose life or not. Sometimes we may say, we don't want life. Uh, we want to remain in, my, in our sinfulness because we feel at ease there. We don't want to follow God's commandments. We don't want to participate in the sacraments. We don't want to offer sacrifices. We love to continue remaining in our sinfulness. But God, out of His love and generosity and compassion, God is after us pouring His Spirit to us, asking us to come back to life. My dear friends, we are, uh, we have a, a very beautiful narrative of uh, uh, about the uh, death of Lazarus and raising of Lazarus back to life in the Gospel today. If Jesus wanted, he could have given life to Lazarus within, with just one word. Even after Jesus came to know that, G, that Lazarus died, he, he remained in the place where he was. And when Jesus came to Bethany, how he is taking steps to give life to Lazarus. Not just instantly, but Jesus is uh, taking some steps. The first step is that Jesus visits Mary and Martha who were, in, who were grieving. Before Jesus gave life to Lazarus, he, Jesus, visits Mary and Martha. And Jesus' presence, Jesus' visit, make them comforted. Jesus' presence brings them consolation. My dear friends, as we are in the Lenten season, it's a time for us to think uh, whether we love to visit our neighbors, our relatives, our friends who are grieving, who are in sickness, who are in, in who are distressed, 
our visits can make them give them consolation and comfort our visits will enhance the life our presence can give them hope secondly jesus conversed with mary and martha jesus talked to them and what was the topic of jesus' talk la god his focus was god he talked to them about god and god's promises that made them that made martha and mary hopeful when we meet people our relatives friends and close uh, co-workers we must consider all those occasions to speak about god and godly things to speak to them about jesus and god's promises and listeners will become hopeful when if they are in distress if they are in trouble sometimes we when we meet we we talk the mundane things let us talk to the people about jesus and his promises thirdly jesus went to the tomb of lazarus upon reaching this lazarus tomb jesus wept and people who were there saw that jesus was crying weeping and they said see jesus is weeping how much he loved lazarus do we have the tears when we hear about the death of our close relatives friends uh, neighbors our tears can comfort the grieving people tears of solidarity tears of love tears of friendship that serves life and fourthly jesus in a loud voice said lazarus come out listening to the voice of jesus lazarus came out of the tomb lazarus came out of death experience and he received life when lazarus listened to the voice of jesus he received life do we listen to the voice of jesus if he have if he spend some time to listen to the voice of jesus we can also experience life where do we find the voice of jesus in the word of god do we spend time to read the word of god do we spend time to listen to the consecrated people do we lis- do we listen to the voice of god in the silence do we try to listen to the voice of god during the time of our prayer my dear friends uh, during this time of lent and season let's examine and see whether we repent over our sins or do we want to k- remain in our sinfulness saying i don't want to obey god's commandments i am i feel at ease in my sinfulness i love to choose uh, death rather than life jesus is a source of life he is 
only he can give us life in its, in its abundance let us ask the grace from above that we may be able to listen to his voice listen to his words thus we gain we experience life